I've said this before and I'll probably say it even more, but Baldi's Basics is a franchise that is mostly shrouded in mystery. There's so many things in that game that have next to no meaning to them. For example, 99, what is that? The poster near the janitor's room in Classic. Who even is that? Who is Joe? These weird things that appear in the game have to have some meaning to them. They had to be created for some purpose, whatever that may be. And me, Mr. Rapper Blow is destined to find them. But rap or rap, where do we start, you may ask? Well, lost content, content. 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 is where we start. As it turns out, all these basics has a lot of lost content that can be found throughout the many accounts of Miss Man 12. So today we're going to be looking at them, starting with Joe's Ultimate Bus Ride. <laughs> Joe's Ultimate Bus Ride is one of the most well-known lost games Mist Man has made due to Joe's bus being seen in Baldi's Basics. In Baldi's Basics, the bus itself is literally vandalized. It's got Baldi's name scribbled over Joe's. It's been seen in almost all the games, starting with the, funnily enough, deleted camping demo, which I'll uh, get into later. Joe's Ultimate Bus Ride stars presumably Joe as you go around completing missions and rounds. All of the missions and rounds are in one big category and can be selected through the playfield. One of the missions Miss Man was planning to add is called Passenger Panic. Passenger Panic involves you transferring your passengers by picking them up through a ramp then getting them to the bus stop. One of the rounds Miss Man was also planning to add was called Crazy Combos, which just involves you trying to get as much passengers as possible till you inevitably die. Another round was called Risk and Reward, which has all the targets raise your reward which can be collected through the bus stop. Once you shoot the bus, the round ends, so basically you're just trying to get as much rewards as you can before the time runs out and you lose all of them. After completing any mode, one of the two hurry ups will start depending on which mode you've finished. Hurry ups are basically just lightning rounds from TV shows if you've seen them. There is also a multiball mode called Biggles Bagels Multiball. The mode itself takes place in a bumper area called Biggles Bagels, which is Joe's own shop apparently. The mode is lit when you hit the bumpers a set amount of times. Once it is lit and you shoot the bumpers, a lot of stuff happens and honestly I don't, I don't really know all this pinball stuff. I'm just reading off the Miss Man 12 games blog spot that he made for this. I'd explain a bit more of the stuff Miss Man was playing in ad, but I'm pretty sure most of you don't really know all this pinball stuff as well. If you want to know more about the game mechanics though, I will link the blog spot articles in the description. The blog spot articles also have a lot of images for the play fields and parts of them during development. It is an interesting read, so you should check it out. Other than that, Miss Man did produce a lot of unique stuff for the game. It has its own music, you can hear in the background right now, and some sound effects for things that happen during the game. All of the sound effects are actually in the video playing right now, so I'll play them for you guys. Um, Joe, why are we going this fast? We're going this fast, because the brakes are out, and we're going down, hell! What? multi Coming, eventually, at some point in time. One more thing, Joe's Ultimate Bus Ride was made in an engine called Future Pinball. Future Pinball, aka the next, the next generation, generation, generation pinball, pinball simulation, simulation, is a real-time pinball development system. It also allows you to design the other people's 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 Other than that, let's move on to another game made by Miss Man, simply called Joe. 
Now, most people actually think this was Joe's ultimate bus ride, but no. It's actually its own separate game made by Miss Man around 2012. This picture I'm showing right now is the only evidence and media we have of it besides the description Miss Man gave it in one of his blogs. As we can see, the game had a lot more of the style seen in Baldi's Basics with Joe being a poorly made MS Paint character and such. We've got a cookie jar, a bus stop, uh, Joe's bus, and Joe being the big centerpiece instead of the bus in J-U-B-R. There's also a company logo go plastered throughout the image called M Azing. M Azing also seems to be basically games before basically games. So if Joe's bus ride ever got popular, Miss Man would have probably trademarked this. The premise in the main mission of Joe is essentially just the passenger panic mode from JUBR with only a few things changed. Miss Man also said there was a few other features too, but he never went any further on those. He said it was a good learning process for him though, and most of the things seen in Joe would be expanded upon in JUBR. Unlike JUBR, which is currently on hold, Joe will probably never be released to the public. And it's a dang shame. Moving on. I'm on the DS now. Anyway... <clears throat> This man has made many petite computer games. Almost all of these are on his fan and page as well. One of the games a lot of people know and has actually finished is called Revenge of the Crazy Baby. Revenge of the Crazy Baby is a sequel to another boss missing game, which uh, I'm sorry for going on a tangent here, is a completely different horror game called The Crazy Baby that puts you in a house where once you touch anything, it puts you in a boss battle with the same baby from this game. I'm sorry, when I was like researching this, I literally just found this out of nowhere. Anyways, Revenge of the Crazy Baby is a sequel to The Crazy Baby where freaking Micah McGonagall goes on vacation after the events of Crazy Baby to only be greeted by the same crazy baby. Now Micah must outsmart and kill the crazy baby to win the game. It is a weird premise for a weird game so it suits itself. The game starts with the ability to choose start or story. Start just starts the game while story gives you a description of the story of course. There are also two difficulties, hard and easy. Easy is just the normal game played out while hard is much well, harder and it gives the baby brand new attacks. The game is controlled to where A is for jumping, B and X are used for shooting, your D-pad is used for moving around and aiming your weapon, and L and R is used for aiming diagonally up. Start is also used for basically rage quitting, and select is exiting out of the game completely. The game itself is available, but the engine that the game runs on is not available to the public anymore. When I made my iceberg video, someone did try to contact me to give me some footage of some petite computer games this man made, but he hasn't said anything since I have gave him my Discord. So who knows, there might be some new footage of this game soon, especially when this video comes out. Also, here's a big disclaimer. Miss Man himself said Nicolas Cage is not in this game, so don't believe anyone that isn't Miss Man who says this, because he isn't. Anyways, another game Miss Man made was a port of Chips Challenge, a game originally made for Windows. While there's not too much to talk about regarding it due to it being a port, it did get cancelled due to Miss Man not wanting to go to jail, aka licensing issues. Which is something I guess he stopped thinking about ever since he put that image of an Eiffel Tower in plus. Miss Man, why aren't you in jail right now? Other than that, there's also a game called Infinite Office, which is also on the 3DS where it's called Rogue Bots. Rogue Bots or Infinite Office, I'll just call it Rogue Bots, has you playing as Joe Biggle who is Joe from Joe and Joe's Ultimate Bus Ride. I swear all of these games have some weird continuity between each other. This game is one of the only games I've actually played as well. If you want to see footage of it, it's on my own channel called Baldi's Archive. Yep, I was trying to keep it a secret, but I, yeah, I made the channel. I don't, I don't know why I wanted to keep it a secret, but it is mine. The game is inspired by arcade games like Donkey Kong and Pac-Man and has you going through an endless amount of floors, eating fat cookies, killing rogue bots, and trying to make it to the top to save Joe's wife, Mimi. The way you beat each floor is by charging all of the pumps seen throughout the corners of each floor to at least 100. If any pumps are below 100, the door on the top of the screen won't open and you have to charge it. Also, if you charge the pump a little bit more than 100, you can stun all the enemies with a big shockwave. But if you really need some help and there's a rogue bot in your way, you can always use your one-use gun, I guess, uh, that only recharges after you've finished a floor. I never actually saw this one playing, but 
After 100 seconds, you can get an item called the Fat Cookie that will double your strength for 10 seconds. The game is endless, so you can play it till you reach the theoretical 256 floor that will completely break the game. But yeah, the game acts exactly like an arcade game. Uh, it loops, and sometimes the AI is a pain in the butt. I can't even count how many times I got trapped in a corner with the rogue bots on all sides. It's like Pac-Man, but if Pac-Man was a ghost-eating demon instead of overweight dude who only stuns robots with a one-use gun. But it is honestly pretty addicting, and I've played it just for fun a few times as well. So if you have a petite computer or a small basic game on your DS or 3DS line of ground, you should definitely give it a try. Other than that, let's head on to... Hey guys, I'm on the 3DS. This is a reference you probably don't get at all. Anyways, as well as petite computer games, Miss Man made a few small basic games, which is basically just petite computer sequel of sorts. One of the five I've already talked about in this video, but the other four I haven't. But I'm just gonna get this one out of the way. Let's talk about City Trainer, Miss Man's lost small basics game that can't be played by me. Haha. <laughs> it also apparently has 99 in it which uh, this time I'm not going to leave you guys with an abrupt ending. City Trainer is apparently supposed to be a spiritual sequel to Kirby Air Ride as Miss Man loves that game to death, but it ended up just being a good old April Fool's joke that I can't play. The person who also uploaded that picture of 99 is called DarkPlay88. I tried searching up some stuff on his page that mentions 99 and he has made his own small basis games as well. The thing is though, is that he, he, he has a lot of posts. And I really don't want to go digging that much just to possibly find nothing. But honestly, I might go digging for it another day out of pure boredom. Other than that, City Trial is a mode from Kirby Air Ride. There's also a game called Platformer, -er, and, uh, uh you, yeah, you get it? You get it. It's supposed to look like. Okay, I'm done with this. Platformer -er is a very unfinished platforming game by Miss Man 12. Originally, Miss Man was just going to completely make this private, but decided to release it to the public. From playing it myself, it's so unfinished it hurts. Most things like ramps and stuff don't even work. But for whatever reason, it's so unique. It, it even has its own logo, and it isn't shown in any of the images and screenshots for the game, but I promise you it, it is, it, it's there, and, uh, and it's weird. But yeah, there's really not that much hey. to who are you? Uh, How about you um, come over here? Uh, crap, me. my cover's come been here, blown. Scary uh, cat. Uh, stupid. <laughs> okay, scary cat. you know what? Fine. You really want to know? Well, y yeah. I'm actually GSI Live the sequel. <gasps> Alright, now fight me. <laughs> Anyways, GSI Live the sequel is yet another sequel to a game Miss Man never released, although there is not too much information on the prequel though. From what I played of it, it's a really odd and weird trivia game with some odd and hard questions in them. Each question can cost you or make you $250,000, so you gotta make sure you get each question right in a short amount of time. You lose if you run out of money and win if you still have money by the end. But yeah, that's it for the really obscure Lost games. I'm gonna go eat some cereal or something. I'll see you guys in the Baldi's Basics Lost Game section of the video. Some people don't know this, but a while ago, Miss Man 12 actually removed both the camping and full game public demo from his itch.io. But luckily, most of the versions and the pages have been re-uploaded. The camping demo's original page has practically been entirely copy and pasted by Wise Boy Modder. If you want to see that, I'll have a link in the description, but sadly, the V1.0 versions have been entirely lost. While Wise Boy had the full page and downloads entirely re-uploaded, he currently has the page private due to him being scared Miss Man is going to take some type of legal action for him re-uploading it. I don't blame him though. The public demo is literally a public demo. Unlike the camping trip demo. And besides, Miss Man plans on remaking it for Classic Remastered, unlike the camping demo. But if you want to play the public demo for nostalgia purposes, then uh, good luck. Especially if you want to find the older versions of the demo. Your best bet on finding it is the Internet Archive, and sometimes even that place can have malicious content, so be careful. So, yeah, that's about it for lost content, and uh, did we find the purpose for anything we sought answers for? Not really, but we do know who Joe is now.